I was a lively person before I fell ill. Always doing my squash and my basketball. My wife and I were getting ready for our 10th wedding anniversary. I went to bed that night like every other normal human being. I woke up some weeks later. I was told I'd had a hemorrhagic stroke, a brain hemorrhage. It was as if my life just took a nosedive. But that started my journey of uh, eight, eight years, I think, of being on dialysis. They had to increase my dialysis time from three hours to three hours, 30 minutes, to four hours, four hours, 45 minutes. I started reading the Bible more. It took the grace of God to see me through. It was zero kidney function. So that meant I had to do dialysis almost all my life. It had to be a transplant. I chose that of a living donor. I didn't have anyone. I would give an, an exchange. It, it takes longer for a black person to get an organ. They had shortage of black organs. I said, look, don't worry. <laughs> I trust my God. Thursday, my wife went to work. I went to Quint Hospital. The nurse was in front of me taking my blood. And my phone rang. This is from Royal London Hospital. Um, we're happy to tell you we have a kidney for you. It's a living donor organ. Went outside. I couldn't even scream. The excitement in this was just was more than winning a million pounds. That was the end of my sorrow as a dialysis patient. That finally, the Lord had answered me. God bless whoever it is that gave me a kidney. I wonder what, what my life would be now. So many of us blacks have decided not to come out to join the organ do not register. And I use this opportunity to beg everyone, please and please, come out, go out, sign the organ do not register. Help a black brother 